August 6th uh, in a little bay just west of the town of Marathon. This uh, We just walked a stretch of the um, Voyager Trail uh, to this bay. It's one bay beyond the main Marathon Bay. Quite a contrast in weather this morning. Just a slight breeze. Still some beautiful clouds in the sky with the blue of the lake and sky together. We're going to walk back on this trail, walk the shoreline if we can, into Marathon, and then continue our walk to Nays Park on the on 17. Our only other option. Mike's taking some notes here. This will work, where we'll do our point count. Gorgeous. Another one of our great hikes. Every day, something inspiring. These rocks, polished by glaciers, cracked by glaciers. This is the Marathon Bay. Went over across the way there. You can see the defunct paper mill, which unfortunately has contributed to the toxicity of this particular bay. This is one where we would not drink the water out of the lake. A lot of metals. They may be reopening it, hopefully with a cleaner process so that it'll help their economy and still not hurt the lake. You heard that they're talking about reopening it? Somebody said they were going to try a new mill. I mm. don't know if it's this one or... And joining us on this walk this morning across all these rocks are Sheena and Amanda. Sheena the four-legged climber has a little bit of an advantage. Still August 6th and uh, we've made it around the points and now we're heading up the this wonderful shoreline to the town. Just want to point out here these um, little flowers. I don't think we've gotten them before. These are sandwort, which is an arctic disjunct, meaning it's a plant that's normally found in the arctic and it's left here. It was left here by the glaciers, carried here, left here, um, that polished this wonderfully smooth rock that goes down into the water. We noticed here in this part of the bay, on these rocks, I don't know if you can see it in the water, but there's definite green algae growth going all the way around here. In back, something we rarely see in this cold, sterile lake. But, well, it's not really sterile. Well, yeah. But anyway, what do you think, Mike? You know, it's, it's obviously the warmth, the shallowness. seeing the rocks out there with their green frostings. That's not typical of Lake Superior. There's some algae in Lake Superior, but we're getting a whole lot more algal growth. Well, and do you think, I mean, right here we're very close to that community of Marathon, so there's probably a lot of um, organic material? Probably from the paper mill, because we know this bay is one we can't drink the water out of. We really don't know what all is in it, but there is still toxicity. And if you look at how this bay is trapped, that narrow neck out there is going to be a hard for it to flush out. Flush yeah. out. Not that we really want it moved into the big lake, but it yeah. concentrates in these bays. But algae is one of the signposts of change. But also, you know, when you're near a community, you tend to get a runoff from streets Sewage. and. Well, hopefully there's sewage treatment, but just the runoff from the roads yeah, it's going to carry a lot of material. Yeah, you know, all of those various runoff, that's one of the concerns that NRI has, and that people just aren't paying attention to what's coming out of the culverts. Mm -hmm.